Walvis Bay North Port Development will be Namibia's biggest ever port development project and will see the construction of a large multi-purpose deep water port capable of truly serving as a gateway to Southern Africa far into the future. The port will officially be known as SADC Gateway, Southern Africa Development Community and will include the following facilities amongst others. Largest, most modern and most fully equipped ship and rig repair yard on the West African coast. Able to do complete major refits and repairs to some of the largest oil and gas drilling rigs and drill ships that operate off the West African coast. This repair yard will not only provide world-class engineering services to the oil and gas industry, but will create and maintain a huge number of permanent semi-skilled and skilled jobs for Namibians. The repair yard will also inject much needed foreign currency into the Namibian economy. It will consist of large graving docks, floating dry docks, on-land repair facilities and deep water safe berths for semi-submersible and jack-up rigs including drill ships and all other related support craft. One of the largest oil and gas supply bases on this side of the African continent capable of serving the offshore oil and gas industry with all their needs in terms of shore based services and materials supply. The new port will have a dry bulk terminal which as shown can be completely undercover so as not to risk dune sand contamination from windblown sand. This dry bulk terminal will together with stockpiles heavy industrial area behind June 7 have an approximate throughput capacity of more than 100 million tonnes per annum. This will make this the largest bulk terminal in Southern Africa. A large vehicle import terminal suitable to accommodate both brand new and second hand vehicles without mixing them. Row row berths for side opening as well as stern opening row row vessels. Multi-purpose and brake bulk terminals. Liquid bulk terminals consisting of large tank farms and tanker berths able to receive VLCC sized tankers. This liquid bulk terminal will not only serve the current growing demand for fuel imports into Southern Africa, but will also serve the Namibian crude industry in future, making it feasible to construct and operate refineries in Namibia in the future, with associated benefits to the local economy in terms of fuel pricing. This new port will have the option of also handling containers if needed. A container terminal with the capacity of well in excess 2 million TEUs per annum is envisaged. Backup storage areas and potential SADC countries dry ports will be catered for on the perimeter of the new port. Finally, the new port will have all the various port support service infrastructure in place such as small craft berths for Namport tugs and workboats port control tower and a dedicated bunkering berth for providing bunkers to a range of small to large vessels. The port will be linked to the municipal heavy industry area behind June 7 by a brand new road, rail, pipeline and conveyor corridor that will completely bypass the current town and will alleviate the growing pressure on the existing traffic corridors in Walvis Bay. With the new port being built, the feasibility of mega logistics parks in Walvis Bay becomes a reality. The new port will be a true modern port that will be built and operated in an environmentally sensitive way and will incorporate mitigation measures such as green belts around the perimeter of the port, physical noise barriers where required, etc. With such a large port development comes the added benefits of creating safe and calm sea conditions such that it would now be possible to develop small boat marinas on both sides of the new port which would give the surrounding communities easier access to such facilities and encourage the boating and leisure activities that goes with it. The Walvis Bay North Port Development The Gateway to Southern Africa